Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? What's going on with, with Aloya Casada? Nakasawa? Nakasawa. Um, like I told you guys at, um, at Javier's, this is not in any way, shape, or form, this is not an exhibition. Nakasawa and Ryzen FF, they said, let's get Floyd in the ring no matter what. We we'll say what we gotta say, whatever it takes to get him in the ring so he can knock him out. Notice that he said, Floyd said it's, it's an exhibition. And then Tension Nakasawa, just as I said, said, no, it's not. I will knock him out and kill this guy. And now notice that Floyd said it's three rounds. Well, if it's three rounds, because Tension Nakasawa, they know if you judge Floyd on the, on the first three rounds, that means Mayweather De La Hoya, Floyd lost. If it's just round one through three. Mayweather Mosley, Floyd lost. Mayweather Maidana, Floyd lost. Mayweather Judah, Floyd lost. Mayweather McGregor, Floyd lost. Because Floyd feels you out within the first three rounds, as I've told you guys many times before. He's there to fill you out. He's a technician. And then round number f after round number four, then he brings the heat. So it's not a co coincidence that the Ryzen Federation said, and Tension said, give us three rounds because I'll knock him out anyway. Floyd doesn't do any kind of a warm-up prior to the fight. He doesn't overtrain. He doesn't exhaust himself like the rest of the fighters do. He goes in a state of visualization and clarity and does a walk-through step in calm for like an hour before any fight. He doesn't do all the warm-up and all the crap and waste energy. He does the warm-up when he's actually in the ring, and that's the first three rounds. So it was planned this way. They said, give us three rounds and say what we got to say. And then Nakasawa could say, hey, no matter what, I knocked out Floyd Mayweather. It's going to go on his resume. Now, he could say, sue me. That's fine. Because then it's international law. Floyd's not a Japanese citizen. American laws don't apply. So a Japanese court would literally laugh at it. Say, okay, go ahead and sue me for a million, ten million dollars. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Because I won. So now Nakasawa is 33-0. and 0, And Floyd would be technically to the world 50-1. and 1. So just to let you know, they're not paying Floyd 90 million for an exhibition. It's whatever it takes to get him in the ring. Because the Asian community is 2 billion people. This, in their mind, is a real, real fight. And don't forget, Tenshin Nakasawa, his favorite pet or his favorite animal, animal is the cockroach. The cockroach. Why? Because of its, its ability to survive. It can survive extreme heat, extreme cold. It's the only survivor of a nuclear holocaust. It can go 480 days with no food. This is a guy that's designed and ready to rise up and to have on his belt, I knocked out Floyd Mayweather. That's what he's excited about. This would be as a global fight, it's huge. But as I said, this leads into Mayweather Khabib because Khabib got banned anyway. So he may as well race, make some real money against the Floyd Mayweather brand. And also, everyone's asking me, how much money does this Floyd have left? Well, so let's say hypothetically he made one billion. And let's just say there's 200 million liquid cash. Of course, there's some assets. You'd have to liquidate those assets. So Floyd's out buying watches that are $18 million. The house is 10 million. I mean, the watch is twice the amount of the house. Um, $7 million shopping spree, $8 million jewelry. You know, I just named 50 million bucks, okay. So you can survive on 200 million, can Floyd? So Floyd's out there living life, setting the new standard in boxing and pro sports. It's great for boxing. If Floyd's gambling, it's great for boxing. Floyd's gonna work out anyway. He's gonna work, he works out for an hour, two hours, two or three days a week anyway. He may as well work out in a boxing ring and make 500 to 600 million dollars. He doesn't even need to spar, because every person you go up against has their own sparring style. So he can do the you know, do the cardio, do the road work, the bad work, do the, the body bag work, the weight training. He doesn't even need to spar, because he has 31 years. 
We're in a new age of technology, science, technology, nutrition. As an example, it's no longer you're 40 and 50 and 60 year old. No, that's not how it is. I'm 51 going on 20. Floyd's 41 going on 17. We're in a new age. And Floyd and people he's surrounded with, and many people, most people have standard average thinking. If Floyd thought that way, he wouldn't be Floyd Mayweather. I mean, respectfully, like Nate Jones, he's a good guy, but there's people like people surrounded with Kobe Bryant, they think the standard average norm of the past is what should duplicate now and be the example. Well, it's not. We are in a new age. And Floyd can fight 10, 20, 30 fights easily. Have fun, why does it? And literally make billions. Now, don't forget, I'm the real Iron Man. I'm the first one to tell you the real truth. Because you can't listen to standard, average, negative people who, has, who have never accomplished anything. You can't listen to those people because if you do, you'll never break and shatter the records. As an example, first take Shannon Sharp. Oh, Floyd, just sell most of your cars down to 10 or 15 cars like a normal average person and just live in one home. Well, that's not Floyd Mayweather. If it was in the first place, Floyd would have never been who he is. And Skip Bayless says, oh, no one, I don't want to see Mayweather versus Pacquiao too. Well, maybe you don't, but two billion people in the Asian community because Mayweather, because Manny Pacquiao has the belt. They want to see it, so it would make double the money as the first one. So you have to be, you can't listen to normal, standard, average thinkers. You can't. Because these people block real progress. They're not bad people. Their opinion's worth their words. But they're not thinking. As you know, I'm the one that tells you everything in advance before it happens. And I'm always right. So get ready. Mayweather Nakasawa, that's a real fight. More than you know. Mayweather Khabib is going to be huge. If he's banned from the UFC, that's okay. He'll step into the boxing ring. He's got a great attitude. It's going to make a billion dollars. Mayweather Canelo, that one's going to come up. Because if you saw Canelo versus Triple G, they gave the winner to the wrong guy. It was actually Triple G. So, great stuff happening. Just to let you know, Mayweather Nakasawa, that is a real fight. Don't miss it. I'm Keith Middlebrook, the real lead on the Mayweather Money Team. Thank you. Thank you, Keith.